everyone! Today I'm going to show you how I have completed some of the first milestones in uh, RP1 career. So right now you are seeing my attempt uh, of first orbit. First stage of this rocket is powered by the RD-103 engine, uh, which will bring the second stage uh, to the apoapsis of about 170 kilometers. Right after burnout, the second stage uh, separates and positions itself uh, for the correct orientation using RCS thrusters. Then, thrusters will also perform a spin stabilization of the second and third stage, and then the heavy avionics uh, will be discarded and the rest of the uh, rocket will continue its journey to orbit um, unguided. Second stage engine is the S2253 uh, and uh, it will be followed by the Aerobee third stage. Fortunately, none of the engines had any problems, uh, so the payload, uh, our first satellite, has been deployed successfully. Next milestone to complete is to put the first scientific solar powered uh, satellite into the polar orbit. This task requires much more powerful rocket, and here it is. The first stage is powered by RD 108, a very reliable engine from the Soyuz rocket. Next stage is powered by a Gamma 201, and the third stage is powered by AG 10 early version. Upper stage has its own avionic unit, uh, thanks to which uh, it will maintain uh, control through a uh, whole flight, and uh, because of that, it can inject payload to much more precise orbit. In this case, uh, the desired orbit is 300 km by 1500. After getting there, the satellite is positioned toward the sun, spin stabilized and then released. Last milestone for now is to send the probe to impact the moon. This requires even more powerful rocket, that's why we made it Kerbal Way and just added boosters. They are powered by uh, RD-107, that's why we uh, got some kind of uh, mini R7 rocket. Core is extended, so the engine can burn for um, a bit longer. And after separation, uh, upper stage uh, lights up and the engine is uh, RD-0105. Okay. Uh, so it seems that it's not uh, exactly just adding more boosters. Nevertheless, the second stage uh, reaches orbit and it separates the transfer stage powered by AG-10. Let's take a moment and let's appreciate the beauty of Kerbal Space Program. Okay, the moment is ended and the burn is successful, so now the RCS thrusters perform the final corrections. Everything is set, so the impactor is released and it starts its first and the last journey. This is all I have for you today. If you enjoyed it, please press like and subscribe and see you again.